I've never been much of a fan of Steven Crowder. I think his humor sucks. What he calls humor sucks. Most of his humor is about punching down. And I know many of you don't like that phrase, punching down versus punching up, but it's a very good description. He makes fun of people primarily for things that they have no control over. He'll make fun of different groups. He'll make fun of gay people for being gay. He'll make fun of black people for being black. He'll make fun of women for being women. That sort of thing, right? That, that's his main shtick. That's his main humor. He's like, he's like a frat boy, a 19-year-old frat boy. I don't know how old he is, but he's not 19, and he's still acting like that, and it's just, I mean, I guess his target audience is probably, you know, mid-teenagers, something like that. Maybe he doesn't really think about his audience, he just acts stupid and just likes the fact that he gets a lot of views, but, uh... Now, you know, I may not like his material, but I don't think his channel should be banned. I don't think they should kick him off the platform. Though I don't think his platform, his, his, his content, I should say, on that platform should be, should be monetized. I don't think someone should... I mean, if, if he wants to get money from, from Patreon or whatever other means, fine, but from the advertisers? No. Now, some people will say, oh, well, he's, he's not actually anti-gay. Really? What about this footage? Before we get to the video, uh, with our favorite, favorite lispy <laughs> sprite Anchor from baby. Vox. That's, that's, that's. It's ridiculous? It's bonkers? You're being given a free pass as a crappy writer because you're gay. That center line on his little queer graph there. <laughs> what is, what is well, that Well, now line? the graph is queer? It is violence. Filth. Okay, so the little queer could eat his chips all nonchalantly. It's code for rape, Mr. <laughs> queer eating chips on the Vox channel. Mm -hmm, tip, 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 that you can eat just one, like dicks. This is what Mr. Gay Vox wants to do. Mr. Lispy Queer from Vox. What, was, what were you holding, Gay Latino from Vox? <laughs> Even his hand movement and fast motion is gay. Now we're here with the short-haired angry lesbian on Skype. And cable news, cable news bitching. Two gay guys sitting there eating a banana. We get the symbolism there. <laughs> the truth is hiding in a closet two weeks later probably along to his next Pride Parade out, but this guy on the gay semi-Latino Vox. Oh, okay, so you really are just an angry little queer. All right, I can't deal with this Sprite anymore. Okay, he just sashays across without a, like just, oh. The gay Vox Sprite is wrong. <laughs> now he could be a tranny, your honor. But how many lispy, angry Sprites and Vox sashay across your screen and try and tell you otherwise? Or you, by the way, the gay Mexican guy. The gay Latino V-neck. Gay Mexican. Or Mexican gay guy used to work. Mexican oh, gay oh, Latino oh, there oh, at, oh, uh, at Vox. Oh, uh, gay Latino from Vox. The token Vox gay atheist Sprite with surprise Surprisingly, surprisingly flaccid chest considering how thin he is. It is it's very bizarre to me. Uh, ad hominem, yes, but it was an addendum to fat. You know, he later tries to claim that, uh, well, gay people use the word queer to describe themselves. Why can't I? And it's like, well, because when gay people are doing it, it's a, it's a term of endearment. It's not an insult. It's not the brunt of a joke. Well through the 1990s, funding continued to soar for the entirely preventable disease while countless Americans including millions of children, died of diseases helplessly, entirely out of their control, with actual mortality rates. Actual mortality rates, huh? So all the gay people who died aren't really, they don't count? Now I understand that some of what is trying to be said is that HIV is preventable if people either don't have sex or have safe sex, even the safe sex, there's still a chance. But, uh, you know, if this, was, if this was a huge epidemic in the straight community, which it does still affect straight people, it's not 0% like his video tries to push forth. If it severely affected straight people, and straight people were told that they shouldn't have sex, and straight people were de already being demonized for having sex in general, you'd probably be singing a different tune. But because it affects gay people and, well, they don't, they're not as valuable as straight people, you know, oh, who cares? But they didn't have a celebrity awareness campaign and received a fraction of the funding. Yes, the AIDS epidemic hoax is one of the greatest ever perpetrated in the American public and one that inadvertently cost millions of lives of actual victims. 
Because gay people aren't actual victims or something? As with all great mistakes, a valuable lesson to be learned. You too can help save children's lives and stop stealing their research dollars by taking these simple steps to easily avoid the silent non-killer. So he has this type of attitude towards gay people. And yet, he's trying to declare that this push by some people to get him deplatformed is just, it's all about corporate censorship. This is corporate censorship. And this is yet another giant company trying to lean on this channel, your channel, mm -hmm. and the content that you've created. And this is a war. I want to make sure that everyone understands we will fight to the absolute bitter end, both legally and publicly. Yeah, apparently it has nothing to do with harassing someone on Vox, a particular person on Vox for a couple years. And every time you do, because you have millions of subscribers, every time you do, this person gets tons of, of hate from your fans. Yeah, it, it has nothing to do with that. No, no, it's, it's all about corporate censorship and a large company trying to, to stop freedom of speech from a smaller YouTuber, right? Because you're such a smaller YouTuber with close to 4 million subscribers. Oh, so small, so tiny. Yeah. Uh, the host of Vox, <laughs> Vox, has actively, it's been brought to my attention, been on a campaign to get this channel banned, removed from YouTube. Now, I don't think we should be pushing to have you removed from YouTube altogether, but I don't think ads should be playing on your videos. You know, I mean, at, le at the very least, these companies that put out these ads should be aware of what their ads are being put over, what kind of content their stuff is advertising over. Again, I don't think there, I mean, if you want to get money from Patreon and people who actually want to donate to you because they like your content, fine. But uh, I don't think uh, regular ads should be shown over your shit. And it's shit. Your content is shit. But that's, that's my opinion. Some people think my content is shit, so that's fine. It's just my opinion. From encouraging viewers uh, in massive flagging campaigns to directly communicating with YouTube in order to try and get me in these videos completely removed from the platform. A couple of the tweets uh, by refusing to enforce its anti harassment policy, YouTube is helping incredibly powerful cyber bullies go to this dude's videos and flag them? Question uh, mark. So, not a lot of conviction there. Seems like a question uh, tossed yeah, to the audience. No. <laughs> let, let me explain the real, the more sinister context at play here. First, I've been accused of, of uh, playing a part, or this person, uh, Carlos Maza, yeah, having been yeah. doxxed. I have always condemned and continue co to, to condemn, discourage any and all forms of doxing or targeted harassment of anyone online, okay? I've been consistent, so please don't do that here. I know some of you will get uh, obviously uh, mad, maybe a little enraged at some of the information you're about to hear, but please don't do that, be above that. Uh, if there's any proof, that I've actively encouraged people to dox this person or anyone, I will profusely apologize. Any proof. When you have as many subscribers as you have, and so many of those subscribers have that teenage mentality that they do, or at least the bad stereotype of a frat boy type of mentality, um, do you really think it does any good for you to tell them not to do those things? You've got to realize what human nature is. But you want to play stupid and act as though human nature doesn't apply to your subscribers. Here's the thing. Uh, of the tens of millions of cumulative plays on our rebuttals to Vox on this channel, every single one of them is about criticizing their ideas. Really? That's, that's very interesting. You're being given a free pass as a crappy writer because you're gay. Mr. Lispy Queer from Vox. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you really are just an angry little queer. All right, I can't deal with this sprite anymore. Okay, he just sashays across without a, like, just, oh. The gay Vox sprite is wrong! <laughs> now he could be a tranny, your honor! But how many lispy, angry sprites and Vox sashay across your screen <laughs> and try and tell you otherwise? Yeah, I'm sure that you might make valid arguments between your insults, sure. But your insults, and how often you do them, is why he's being harassed, is why he's been harassed. You know, but you just can't keep away from that frat boy humor, the homophobic, misogynistic, racist, frat boy, white frat boy type of humor. 
Now, I normally don't make comments saying something about white, but I'm talking about a very specific stereotype. I'm not saying, oh, white people. I'm saying particularly the, the stereotype of white frat boy humor. Is upset. Okay, listen. Have I ever called you, Carlos, the gay Latino host at Fox? Yes, of course. But that's friendly <laughs> ribbing. And, you know, yeah, I genuinely on. wouldn't... I wouldn't consider you being that upset about it, considering your handle is at Gay Wonk. Yeah. Did I ever offhandedly <laughs> use the term lispy queer? I really don't remember it, but it's, it sounds like me. Why? Because you speak with the lisp and you refer to yourself as a queer. That, along with the LGBTQ moniker, has genuinely made me think that queer is one of the more suitable terms. If not, I don't understand the rule book, please. I think most of it is about your fucked up sense of humor, the things that you consider just ribbing someone. As I said earlier in the video, you know, just because someone calls themselves queer doesn't suddenly give everyone carte blanche to, to say it as well. I mean, especially when you're using it as an insult. Oh, but it's not really an insult. It's, it's just good humor. Yeah, whatever, man. Uh, are you going to say the same thing about the N-word? I mean, you know what the, about the connotations of the N-word. I'm not even saying the actual word. I'm just saying the N-word. Right? People that are black call themselves the N-word, but when other people use it, it's, it's not so great. Now, if you really don't think that that should be the case with gay people... Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, maybe you should look a little bit more into something outside your frat boy mentality bubble that you like to keep yourselves in. I mean, the only people that you seem to like to, to talk to that are on the left are freshmen in college. Great. Yeah, that's great. How about some people who have been around for a while? How about debating some uh, people like Sam Cedar? How about something like that? Are you just going to turn away and run away like a little chicken? You know, that's what you're going to do. You're, you're going to go with what your base audience is. You're going to go with the lowest common denominator humor, punching down as much as you possibly can, and act like that's just what's so funny. You know, uh, essentially anti-intellectual humor. Great. Yeah, you're, you're no George Carlin by any stretch. I hate to tell you. No, no, I love to tell you, actually. I shouldn't say hate to tell you. I shouldn't just use these phrases because they're, they're supposed to be a little nicer in that regard. I, I, I love to tell you that, no, you're, you're no George Carlin, Stephen Crowder. You're no George Carlin. You're not really funny. Another thing to consider is when you put the word A in front of gay. Or queer. A queer. Oh, he's just a queer. Oh, he's just a gay. You know, it goes right along with your mindset that you had in your, your HIV video, where you're basically saying that gay people don't have as much value as a straight person. You know? And you think that doesn't show in your humor and, and, and just about the way that you do everything? You think that doesn't show? It's pretty blatant. People can see it. And until you change your views on that, people are probably going to call it out when they see you showing it. Just saying. Please correct me. Also, by the way, it's funny. And this is a comedy <laughs> show. Lispy <laughs> queer is harmless, and I enjoy saying it. And you're not alone. <laughs> Quarter Black Garrett, half Asian lawyer Bill <laughs> Richmond. Yeah. I won't apologize for it, just like I won't apologize for the socialisms for fig shirts, which they now want to be, uh, have actively removed, available at yeah. of the if, if using your words taken directly from the acronym you regularly tout is now hate speech, no one can understand the rules. And that's kind of the point, isn't it? It's comedy, so that makes all the difference, right? No, you're, you're just an idiot. You're an asshole, you're an idiot, you have a bad stereotype of a frat boy mentality, and so do your, your co-hosts, and so are most of the people that subscribe to you, the people that think you're funny. And they like going around and harassing people, no matter how much you tell them not to. They're going to, because you've started the harassment. You want to harass a guy for two years and make those kind of comments so often towards them, and you expect there to be no backlash to it at all? It's just comedy! 
Again, I, I'll state it again. I think it would be sad if your channel got completely taken away, got, got terminated because of this stuff. But you should expect there to be some sort of backlash. There's nothing intellectually stimulating about your punching down insults. Just saying.